Yes, hello. My name is Katharina Görig from Goethe Institute. Um, I don't know what was promised to you now, but I hope I can fit to your expectations. Um, thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk in English, otherwise my, my speech would be very short. Um, so which is the magical thing? No? I don't want to break. So it's this thing, yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so actually the Goethe Institute Ukraine doesn't have a grant program. So what I basically offer you is um, to have a walk through the um, yeah, scholarship options from big players from the cultural scene in Germany. I will start with the Goethe Institute, um, later talk about the Institute for Foreign Affairs and also present you some other big German um, actors from the cultural exchange uh, sphere. Um, First of all, I want to tell you, as I already said, you Goethe Institute Ukraine does not have any grants. What I present you now is um, our funds and scholars, uh, scholarship and other things that are implemented by the Headquarters Institute in Munich. You know that the Goethe Institute is an international network for uh, German cultural and language programs. So um, whenever you are interested in such a program, you should apply through the Goethe Institute in Munich. But keep in mind, it's always a good idea to get in contact with us first, because the headquarters will contact us to, um, yeah, to hear uh, whether we would recommend your application or not. Um, actually, I also want to mention before I go through all these points uh, on my presentation, um, these are just examples. Actually, there are lots of scholarships, grant programs, and stuff um, offered by Germany. So these are is just really to give you an impression. So let's start with the International Co-Production Fund that is implemented by the Goethe Institute in Munich. Um, the International Co-Production Fund um, aims at uh, fostering artistic collaboration between Germany and countries, um, yeah, all countries, like um, all countries in the world actually. Um, it aims at encouraging new collaborative forms, innovative forms between Germany and other countries. Basically this co-production fund is open for projects in the field of um, theater, dance, music and performance. As the title already says, it's a co-production fund, so you must uh, send a joint application, which means you must have a partner from Germany. Um, also, your application must show that you have um, a, already a long cooperation between you and your partner in Germany, and which aims, uh, and the project should aim at a dialogue-oriented process. Yeah, so it's not enough to just write down the German um, partner and that's it, but the project should be made up as uh, something um, cooperational, innovative. Um, yeah, especially this international co-production fund is um, uh, very interesting for people here, but this is an, a great example when you should come to Goethe Institute Ukraine first in order to get some advices on how the project should be um, constituted. The next deadline is already in mid of October and uh, it mainly funds uh, travel costs between 15 and 25,000 euros. Um, the Goethe Institute is also um, home for several artists' houses, um, which means that these artists' houses offer you support by providing studio space or accommodation for limit, limited periods of times in Germany. So this is your opportunity to come um, to Germany for 
um, let's say from three months to three weeks to six months, um, there is really a long list of um, artist houses in Germany. Um, I think only the Goethe Institute website shows like 50 corporations or 50 opportunities that um, target different disciplines, different uh, target groups and so on. So I uh, highly encourage you to have a look at our website. Actually what I forgot to mention is uh, whenever you want more information about the program that I'm talking about, just have a look here on the whoops, wrong button um, on the uh, link down on the presentation here it's goethe.de if you use this link together with the title you will find further information about the program that I'm talking about um, yeah so examples of these artist houses are the Akademie Schloss Solitude in Stuttgart which is a quite famous one the artist program of the German exchange program in Berlin but you see um, also um, here that there are big artist houses um, scholarships like in Stuttgart or Berlin but also small little um, cities like Halle or Schwandorf have their own residency programs so um, feel free to to click through all the um, opportunities that you can see for instance in Stuttgart this aims at um, people um, active in visual arts architecture design new media and they would offer you accommodation and studio space plus 1000 euro per month as well as travel costs and this could last between 6 and 12 months but this is just one example yeah the other example would be the Werkleitsgesellschaft in Halle which is a rather smaller city um, it's an artist grant that also um, includes project grants so you see it's a big variety of artist houses and one more time feel free feel invited to click through all the 50 artist houses um, we also have a translation program offered by the Goethe Institute. This mainly aims at um, yeah, translating German books into other languages. Um, of course this is a way to make accessible um, literature from Germany um, for, for children, for youngsters, contemporary literature but also classics. Um, this application also goes through the headquarters of Munich, but my colleague from the library in Goethe Institute Ukraine will be, of course, also happy to support you with your application. Um, this fund mainly contributes to the part of translation costs. Just to give you an example, the translations made um, in 2017 for into Ukrainian were um, Wer ist Marta, it's Who is Marta by Mariana Gaponenko or selected text by Josef Beuys and um, also a children's book by Wolf Erlbruch. <coughs> yeah, now we go to the Institute for Foreign Affairs which is, um, yeah, I would say the second biggest um, cultural institute after the Goethe Institute in Germany. They also have um, very interesting exchange programs. I want to show you three of them here. First of all, they have like um, artists contact program, which supports projects in the field of contemporary art, architecture, photography and so on. And here also um, the focus is on the cooperation between Germany and um, in this case Ukraine. Um, they fund working stays as well as um, working tours and it aims at artists, curators, art educators, designers, architects and uh, this program mainly contributes to travel expenses to Germany. Deadlines are in January and August. The second program is also RAVE scholarships which rather supports practical training from pe for people from the cultural scene. Um, 
This program is for young curators, uh, museum technicians, cultural managers from countries in transition, so um, like amongst others, um, Ukraine. Um, this program can help you with funds if you have arran arranged a guest period in Germany, a practical training or a non-paid work in um, in a museum or any other institution, which lasts for between three and six months. Um, so basically this is an opportunity for you to have a, a practical um, experience in Germany. The payments would be like 1,300 euros per month. They would cover traveling expenses, health insurance and so on. And the deadline is uh, at the end of this month. So this is a program, the cross-culture program by the Institute of Foreign Affairs, which is actually not only a program for culture managers, but I thought the target group here is probably interested in this program. Because uh, this program um, only aims at Eastern partnership countries, and including also Russia, I think. Um, so. Um, in opposite to all the other programs where you are in competition with all the countries in, of the rest of the world, here um, yeah, I think Ukraine is at um, the focus of the program. Uh, so the cross-culture program aims to promote social political cooperation and strengthen civil society cooperation between Eastern partnership countries and Germany. Um, among these topics, I think they can be related to um, culture, but um, mainly the fields are human rights, migration and refugees, political education, youth participation, intercultural dialogue, um, mediation and reconciliation. Um, so basically, um, this culture program also supports young professionals and volunteers who would like to gain some practical experience in Germany. Um, the, the, it, this uh, working experience can last for eight weeks. Um, you must find your partner um, in Germany by yourself, but the institute supports you with that, with your partner institution. Um, yeah, so fully month grant would be 550 euros plus accommodation, health insurance, travel costs. Deadline is at the end of the year. Yeah, so we already jumped to um, the other partners. I will not go into details with their programs, but I want to um, draw your attention to the other big, let's say, players in the field of cultural exchange. Um, which is, for instance, the Robert Bosch Foundation. And here in this yellow um, thing, you see all the programs they established only with focus on Ukraine. So whatever project idea you have in mind, I think it's um, very useful to have a look at Robert Bosch Foundation's um, programs in Ukraine. Um, another rather now, not, let's not say new, but they exist for 20 years. It's an association called Midost, who is um, active in uh, Eastern European countries, and now they are even conquering more countries uh, for, for 20 years now, and they also have different um, exchange programs, uh, cultural funds, and so on. And last but not least, Goethe Institute Ukraine. I told you that we do not have um, a grant program, but we are always um, open for collaborations, for developing um, together projects with um, actors from the cultural sphere here in Ukraine. Of course, we do not just give money to support um, any uh, production from the theater field or music or whatever. We rather um, are open to everything that yeah, is somehow related to Germany. This means um, if you have, like for instance, what did we do? We translated a play for theater from for um, um, 
um, for theatre because so it was a German play and we supported the translation into Ukrainian. But we also do we also are open for bigger projects like uh, whenever you have something to establish a partnership with a German partner, um, we would support you in the establishment of this project. So I also want to invite you to. Um, maybe not uh, to our website, but rather to Goethe Institute Ukraine on Facebook, because um, among all these um, project development um, possibilities, we usually do have small projects with open calls for cultural managers, for museum experts, so um, for, for many actors from the cultural sphere that are mainly announced on, on Facebook. So please join us on Facebook and you will always be up to date. It's Goethe Institute Ukraine, not only Goethe Institute, otherwise you will follow the headquarter in Munich. So uh, thank you very much for your attention. We will be here for 10 or 15 minutes um, in the hall there if you have um, more questions, but of course I also I'm also happy to answer some questions now. Перейдемо до питань. Thank you, Катерина. Пам'ятаєте, ми зараз презентуємо культурні інституції, які працюють в Україні. Вони дійсно не передбачають грантових програм, але є величезна купа програм співпраці. І я знаю, в залі є багато людей, які вже робили свої проекти з Гьоти інститутом неодноразово, успішно. Тому обов'язково поспілкуйтеся з представниками інституції і давайте буквально три питання і підемо далі. Thank you, Katerina, for your speech. And um, my only question is, are there any specific language requirements for the applicants? That's it. Well, I think this depends on the project, but don't be afraid, you don't need to know German, I think, for most of the projects. But um, you must, I think you should know um, a language of communication, so I think English, English. would be desirable. And you can always visit our language course if you want to be well prepared. Доброго дня. Хотів спитати, чи є якісь екскурсійні програми до університету або до якихось мистецьких заходів університету, які проходять в Німеччині? So, just one question, are there any uh, tours to the universities or to the cultural events that are happening in Germany? Um, yes, there are, uh, there are visitor programs, but they do not have any, um, uh, as far as I know, any offers that are published regularly. I know that the um, German embassy usually offers some visitor tours depending on the interest they identify here in Ukraine. I think among all these um, travel scholarships, travel programs, there is uh, this would, I think, support um, any plan if you do a travel, a, a trip to Germany to have a visit to certain um, institutions. Mm -hmm. 